Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. I went ahead and I did something that might save me in the long run. I went ahead and I turned off the ability to show genitals. Um, so that won't do anything, but we're still going to be able to get nudity, which is cool. But I, I don't think I want... I don't think I want things being shown on YouTube or Twitch. I don't know what can be shown and what can't. So... I don't know. Uh, before we continue, I think we should learn a little bit about our characters. Get some character progression out of the way, so. Shatterheart, let's hear some stuff about you. This place seems remarkably tense for a sacred grove. Perhaps we shouldn't linger. But let's at least see if there's a healer to be found, first of all. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Forget you ever saw it. We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Perhaps, perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Boulder's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. Personally, I think finding this Halsin is our best bet. I'm not too hopeful that a Gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. You're not the kind of company I'd keep willingly, but all things considered, you'll do. And I haven't forgotten that you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. Perhaps I'll be able to return the favor at some point. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? I should hope not. Have you ever heard the people who want to talk about themselves? I'm doing you a favor. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. All right, what about Lizelle? That's what I'm calling her, Lizelle. Every Gith Yankee has held a sword by age six and claims their first kill by age ten. Yet these tieflings claim barely a single warrior among them. It's a wonder they've survived even this long. Hmm. Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crash contains a safest purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kalir Library. The library was the gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. The planes are ever quaking and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more. Infinities upon infinities. I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. Hmm. 
Because I do not intend to let this happen. Not to me, and if you stick with me, not to you. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. All right, what about Gale? Gale, come here. I never had cause to visit a druid's grove before. Magic weighs heavier here. Seeking solace in root and soil. Grounding, one might say. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. Certainly. That I have a great respect for privacy, for instance, especially my own. Hmm. Okay, so he's a mystery right now. Got it. Alright, we are looking for a healer. Backpack. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Can I sneak here? Ah. All of this is lit. You're not a healer, okay. Um, yeah, I I don't know anything about the story, so I don't even know where to begin to look or where to go, or anything like that. Barth, stone door. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. <sighs> we might need it. Have you spoken to Corga? Of course, you have your own business to attend to. But if the druids won't abandon this ritual of theirs, it will be trouble for all of us. Ah, that's what this room is. Okay. No, sir. There's a clear path Please, have mercy. Alright, now we just gotta find a healer. Don't make me hurt you, boy. Too late! Looking at you is painful enough! What's going on here? I already told you I don't have it. How stupid are you? I'm only going to ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I've never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head. You gutless stink sack. Uh oh. Knew it. Bloody well knew it. What's happening here? And both of you thought striking a child was a suitable punishment. If his parents won't do it, I will. He's an orphan. How'd you like it if I struck you? You raise a hand to me. It'd better have steel in it. Oh, we just barely got it. Whoo, that was close. 
You're not wrong. I wish you were. Child, learn your lesson and be grateful. And you, get out of my sight! Well, at least nobody died. Hey, can't sneak here. We're in a clearly lit area. But I, it looks like we can see where we can sneak. So that's fun. So the red is where we can't sneak. But everything else, we can. Hey, he looks like a blacksmith. He's not a healer. We need to find a healer. Makeshift prison. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. She's gonna get killed. I'm not afraid. Chosen by the absolute, I am. I'm blessed. Oh, I'll bless you, all right. Oh, well, I better step in the way. She's gonna get killed. Looks like the absolute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him, too. You, move. Oh, please win, please win, please win. Yes! Let's go! You're right. I wish you weren't. I really do. Damn you. Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? Your soft heart will be the death of us. You'd better be right. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Why did they disapprove? Thieves are all boring. Even your cages are boring. Gail. Believe it or not, but I witnessed a similar standoff back at the Yawning Portal. Of course, an establishment like that invites all sorts of outlandish entertainments. An inn in Waterdeep. Ooh, never a dull moment there. Adventurers come from all over Faerun to try their luck down the well. Leads into the Undermountain, you see. Full of death, danger, and vast amounts of treasure. Hard to resist. Sounds fun. Oh, a drow, a dragonborn, and a cleric of Cyric walk into a bar. Your standard fare. Maybe someone was cheating at cards. Maybe it was some weird lover's quarrel. In any case, out came the crossbow, and a hush fell over the entire room. I stood up and yelled, Shadow Dark Ale for everyone. The crowd cheered. The tension drained into five dozen tankards, and soon all was well again. In a place like the Yawning Portal, the most powerful magic is calling for a round of drinks. Mind you, all I did was call for ale, but you went and stood in front of that crossbow. Well, I drink to that. Nice. I'm so glad that I'm making friends. I know people are disproving of things. I saw Shadowheart doesn't like it when I talk to our... Uh... I have no idea how to pronounce her race. The Nose Lady. And I know she doesn't like Shadowheart. What's you messing with my cage for? It's too late to make friends walk me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the absolute and hang you by your guts. Goddess. We're burning her name across the face of the world, we are. The absolute is gold from the sky, she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. My tribe can tell you everything there is to know. Absolute bless one of our own. Priestess Ga. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. Mighty Booyog. 
A goblin healer. We really are desperate, aren't we? Well, it is a... Uh, it is a healer. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? Then hurry up and do it. My tribe ain't as friendly as I am. I'm not gonna worry if someone... I'm not gonna worry if someone disapproves. There's so many romance options in this game. Okay. I want to go into here. We need to figure out how to get like a lockpick kit or something. What does this guy sell? Hello. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Torel. Woo! Arrow of Acid, Arrow of Darkness, Arrow of Fire, Lightning, Roaring Thunder, Quarterstaff, uh, Light Bow. Seeing if there's anything that does more damage than the stuff I do. I don't think I can wear armor. Can he? I can change the color of my clothes? Ooh. I want to try that. Let me try the armor, too. go of sorts used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before El Torel fell into Avernus these days my talents are more eclectic learned a lot in my time in the hells hope to forget most of it but between you and me there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery alas my offerings are far more humble these days you know, it's crazy. I wanted to go into blacksmithing. I actually, I actually work in something like that right now, in the real world. But uh, not quite what he does. Mine's more modernized. Hmm. The nerve of that smirking little rat! Can't believe the kid thought he could snatch my mum's locket and get away with it. <laughs> Bet he's learned his lesson now. I could just ask for the locket. <laughs> Locked chest. I need a lockpick kit. I do. Okay. I have no idea where I would find a healer. You a healer? Refugees, adventurers. No one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well... May Sylvanas guard them as they continue their travels. As I said, it's a drastic measure. But the survival of the Grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Pitchers of beer. Potion of speed. A lot of arrows. Scroll of Bone Chill. Ooh, that could be fun. Rain Dancer. Dragon's Grip. I'm actually trying to figure out... Um, ooh, Thieves Tools. 
Give me. Player has insufficient gold. Fuck you mean I have insufficient gold? And I'll sell what I don't need. What does anybody else have? Can I at least have two of them? There we go. Sylvanas, guide your path. Okay, I want to color my Calm clothes. Down. Let me I see. What... Leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. Is this what I do? There we go. I look like Dante now. I'm Dante. Look at that. I didn't think that's what that was though. Fuck. I might have wasted that. This is about your precious borders gate. I care about our lives. Our future. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Bells, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine, too. Oh, I hope this works. Come on. Spin the wheel. Let's go! Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zerg. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. So glad I can help. How long until Roland shows up as thunder waiting's getting to me? Children! Look who's here! The Blade of Frontiers. What a thrill for the children. <laughs> They're tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. to be like me you just have to buy enough time to run come on I believe in you you can do this hmm <laughs> you're on the right path Umi go on now practice what you've learned well met the blade of frontiers at your sh the man's smile bends downward and his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. Uh, hell's great fires. You are on the ship. You saw her then. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mindflayer ship. 
but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. I feel like this is gonna be like Fallout Companions. I'd be a fool if it didn't. I know the stories. Doomed to shed my skin, become a lithid, and there's no coming back. But I haven't sprouted any tentacles, least not yet, thank Balderin. Could just be good luck, but sooner or later, it's bound to run out. I'm up for the challenge. You've just got to make a little space. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Okay. Dude, I am collecting companions all over the place. Okay. Oh, they can see me. Okay. Depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? I have no idea where the hell I'm gonna find a freaking healer. Is there like a journal? We were told to look for Nettie in the inner sanctum. Got a lot of quests. The inner sanctum, huh? I think that's this. Is this what this is? Secluded chamber. <laughs> nah, this ain't it. Ruin an inner sanctum be by the prison, maybe? This is the hollow. So... We gotta go inward more. That's what I think. This way. I swear that Ox's gaze is full of me. isn't what it appears to be. Ooh. Is it a shapeshifter? I don't know how to... Uh, jump? Push? I don't, I don't, I don't know how to, okay, well, sounds like a shapeshifter to me. Please, last through. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn, and you will wait for Korga's judgment. Now get back. Let me through, Ragrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out! Yeah, okay, shapeshifters, got it. Calm, Magrin, give him a chance. You, get back. It's forbidden to outsiders. Korga's orders. Keep back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You. Apparently Korga wants to see you. 
Go ahead. Of course he does. Yes, I see. Is this where I get to have sex with bears? You wish I could understand you. Nice. Okay. Hello? That's not it. Oh, these are where they're doing the ritual. Puff it. Is this it? This looks inner sync to me. I'm Emerald sorry. Grove. I'm sorry. <gasps> Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a a what? Wrath. A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. She's a parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Very well. She may go. Break your word, and my serpent shall feed. Sif, sif, Tila to me! Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin... Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Wow, she caught a case of bitch disease. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something, well, rather important. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you stood in front of a crossbow to prevent a murder. The way you got Korga to release the girl. In short, I've grown to trust you. Nice. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul. Except for my cat. You see, I have this... condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but... just as deadly. No, no, nothing like that. Or if I fail to treat it, then the consequences would not be contained to me alone. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. Is he an addict? We've already done the finding. In fact, 
You have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. Valid question. If not out of the simple goodness of your heart, then perhaps your own self-interest might be sufficient motivation. Having a wizard like me around is quite the boon when facing the perils that stalk these lands. It'd be far harder for me to assist you if I could barely stand upright. Please, trust me. Your help could be the difference between life and death. I feel like I'm not going to win this. Yellow, I did. Let's go. You become one with Gale's mind. And you can feel something sinister oppressing you. It's inside of you. A mighty darkness radiating from your chest. You could try to push further, but your hold over Gale feels brittle. It won't be easy delving deeper without him noticing. So, do you agree? <laughs> Thank you. I see my trust in you was not misplaced. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. What item in my inventory? This? I don't want blood on my head. We have the right to defend our home. So that's what you want? To kill a bunch of innocents? I don't want to kill anyone. But I won't let them throw you up. Ooh, I like that better. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. <sighs> Quite a lot if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Positive. You can trust me on that. Okay. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Well seen. Well spotted. We've let a snake replace our leader. Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin called, perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damn ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more, sent into a world gone mad. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. Sylvanas's blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halston is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Mm. Come, Sylvan. I wish I could offer more assistance. For now, I must keep a close watch on Gorga. I hope to see both you and Halston again soon. Ah, uh, is this the inner sanctum right here? Hello? No more on you, didn't they? Does that hurt? Nutty! I see you. Just give me a moment. This may be There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. 
Why are you asking? A tadpole. A mind flare tadpole. I... I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. I don't feel like we it's going to be, be that easy. This way. One had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Rather too common as of late. At least that's what Master Halson suspected. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. All right. Let's see what we can do. She shifts uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flares out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. <laughs> Fuck you mean normal? I kicked the squirrel last episode! <laughs> For one, that thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from Mind Flames. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Could be. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected. Folks like you. ...have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way... ...he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there... ...he didn't make it back. I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without... ...goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though. You're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Sounds pretty good to me. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me, 
I wish I could tell you more, but only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna, and Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there, and if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. One step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Why burn poison? Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. Better a quick draft than ceramorphosis, nonetheless. Better than becoming a mind flayer. Keep it, in case things start to go very wrong. of the elk. Soul coins. Fun little library here. I'm looking for any books on necromancy or anything related. There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. Another secret room. Ooh. Best get in and out. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, cool. Okay. So we gotta go find Hal Halin? Hazen? I don't even remember how to pronounce things. Okay. Unfortunately, there's no books I can steal. Or there are, but nothing I want. I say we go rescue the guy. Let's go see what that's all about. I like how lively the world is so far. It seems like the world's revolving around... It, you know, like, I'm revolving around the world, not the other way. Red Dead did the same thing, too. Red Dead 2, they did that, where it felt like you were living in their world instead of them living in yours. It's a nice little change of pace, but it also makes me feel like I missed something if I, if I go too quickly or if I go too slow. It's a weird feeling. I don't know. Hopefully I don't miss anything. I don't want to. Yeah, we gotta go kill something. I haven't done that in a These while. These tieflings prove fragile. I have a mind to end their misery myself. Violent Calm mode? yourself. They're survivors, not soldiers. I fail to see the distinction. Not for communal use, it seems. Best show some respect. Or some more cunning. Are they watching me? There we go. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Understand? Okay. If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. So... He is located in a goblin camp in an old temple. Where was that? Place marker. 
I'm gonna call it bleh. There we go. I guess we just start traveling. Start doing quests and shit. I think it was the west. I heard west. That was something I heard. So, Gith. Aren't you worried your kind will punish you for consorting with us? My name is Lazel Chucky. And my kin will understand my need for servants. They will help you, but only if I ask. Where's my weapon? Go. Dead goblins. Dead travelers. Were they heading to the Druid's Grove? Something's waiting up ahead. Get over there! Surround them like! You've spoiled us! Good! It's like they say. No fun in skewing a pig what doesn't know he's cooked. We got you surrounded. Here's how this goes. You take one step further... And we'll fill your front with arrows! Or you turn around, and your backside gets the same treatment! The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. I win. It's best to save our strength for a real threat. Go on then. Just keep your nose clean. Nice. Waypoint. this what I want I want that thing there we go more for me in here Oh, look at these guys. Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. 
So is the brand of the Absolute. Come on. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Indeed. How regrettable that your meat must go unsavored. Food? Food. Not food. Friend. I've no use for the Absolute. Or any god. I follow two masters only. Gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. And the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. No talk. Follow the sense of blood and gold to all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand, and you a delicacy. Were I so lucky? I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me. Ooh. Gotta roll a 20 here. Oh, fuck. Please? That'll work. Let's go! A brilliant notion and a boon to my aching belly. We have a deal, my tasty kibble. Take my bone horn. One blow and the ground will quake with my family name. Use it when the need arises. And never a moment before. Ogre kill everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Well spoken, indeed. Ogre kill everyone around. Nice. We will keep close. When you are ready, sound the horn. All right. We can summon now. Something, over there. Something here. What'd that do? Tell me, Lazo. When you say we might be purified at your crash, what does that mean exactly? Augusto will affix the Zathisk, the purifier, to our heads. His magic will quell the parasite in an instant. Something over there. I need a shovel to dig this up. And I don't have a shovel, right? I like how you can kind of loot everything. That's nice. Okay, I'm not sure this is where we're going. Nice little find, though. Made a few friends. We can summon ogres now. Life's looking up. Haven't had to fight anybody. It's like a pacifist run, almost. That's what it feels like. Huh. Haven't seen that game in years. I say we go this way. Ah, 
Zathisk you mentioned intrigues me. That might be worth it. to tell me a bit more? That yeah, looks like something. Crafted by Millar, our most gifted artisans. I am sworn to say no more. Oh, we leveled up. I didn't even notice. When did we do that? Wizard level three. We can get another spell. And close a door or a magical lock. There's a lot of spells. See, invisibility would be nice. I feel like we use feather falling that much. There we go. I gotta level up everybody else too. Cleric. Ice knife. It's fun. There we go. Goblin camp. This looks like it. Goblins ahead. A war drum. One of those can summon fighters far and wide. Can summon fighters far and wide. We got a sneak past then. Pickaxe. Gimme. Trap. Be cautious. Ooh. Let's go! I want a 
of stuff in that looks like webs. I don't think we can go that way. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, everybody's everybody's getting stuck in the webs. Oh, come on. Fading far. I need healing. Why did you all step in the goddamn trap? Because she's the only one that doesn't have freaking healing potions, apparently. Mm. I applaud your taste. Mm. Oh. These things have right. stayed interesting. Yeah, at least things have stayed interesting. This isn't where we wanted to go. Ow. Ah. Ah. Ow. A trap. Just as I expected. Why are we all just exploding? I wonder what the next move is. The next move is to keep healing y'all asses. Everything. I win. My faith will guide me. Oi! Stand back! Where'd you come from? A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. If I fail this, I suck. What? What are my chances? I didn't realize. Uh, very sorry, Mom. Uh, very sorry. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Uh, enjoy the party! Well, geez, thanks. Yes, get caught, Tavki, crush it. The tadpole lets us command the minds of others. An interesting development, but one to be treated with caution. For better or for worse. No. Our only cause is to deny it. This power is just another symptom of disease, and every use will sicken us further. Wise counsel. When the temptation calls, keep silent, or suffer. Okay, now we get to go in and do what we want, basically. Passing all them skill checks, hell yeah. You guys are freaking gullible. Yeah, this looks like where we're going.
choices irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape. Nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you. An armored male elf, exuding power and command. A handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them. Give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. The voice is gone. Muted by this... this gith relic. Why does a half-elf carry it? I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. I suppose if we're to continue together, I may as well tell you. I serve Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. A group of us were sent to retrieve the artifact. Now I'm the only one left. I can't afford to fail. I can't tell you anymore. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth, for all it's worth. Let's continue. You worship Shah? Blimey. She and my beloved Mistra are not exactly friends. No need to thank me. This is out of pure necessity. Pure desperation, in fact. Hmm. Okay. I feel like we're gonna get a big fight in here. Sounds like they've themselves a bard. Be you beguiling or be you cut. <laughs> Fill the front oh. row. Hmm? And Not the town. With fragulous crown and with scepter a braid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. <laughs> the inn burnt to ash. The captives were many. Goblet kind had Reduce them to cowering filfenny. So raise it your goblets and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you gallant. Who's that? Friend of yours? You up to something? Oh, certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here you lying to you never come 
Let's continue our ballad. <coughs> Uh, draw Ragslin, uh, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, I am a draw Ragslin. Um, um, come choose, uh, uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, um. You broke him. Wait, wait. Uh, draw Ragslin. We may, we. Uh... Come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Now, oh, look what you've done. Come on! Of course, man. My name's Gribble. Idiot! Right, yes. Not the fool with me. What was that all about? before it's too late. I doubt he's got the statue of Saluna. Let's hope we find him in one piece. Now it's a nest for some filthy goblin. Oi! Ain't no party in here. We're doing the absolute's work. State your business. Now. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Let's go. Right. Well, you ain't the first foreign type, I suppose. Gonna have to be a bit more specific, though, mate. Absolute's got a few favorites around here. You here to see Priestess Gun, Boss Raxlin, or the Drow? Well, look, Big Boots here has an appointment with Draw Ragslin himself. Throne room's at the back. He's communing, mind, so step soft. Saluna, as if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Quite the understatement, but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. My people pay him a visit in return. I think I'm gonna save as well because that. Yeah. Ooh, those are so. I'm getting skill check and skill check. Maybe it's because I'm stupid and I don't want to fight anybody because I feel like I'm underpowered. I'm level 3. I don't hit hard. Oh, vile idolatry. Makes my stomach turn. Like For once, the goblins' decorations are an improvement. Pigeon, I hear the saw. Don't go bothering my pigeon. He's mine. Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? Then catch one on your own! The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go! That's not enough. Fuck. Oh, uh, well. Yeet! This one's mine! Can I sneak him? I has an idea. Uh, not magic missile. Sleep. I want to put her to sleep. Out of sight, out of mind. Don't mind if I do.
Don't go bothering my pigeon. He's mine. What's it to ya? The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. How about this one? That's easier, yeah. Oh, I can skip the die roll. Okay, cool. All right, all right. Calm down. I don't want no trouble. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. Nice. <laughs> Look at this. I'm quite saved. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. What's a bit of metal between allies, hmm? I'll do one better. Tell me where we can meet each other once we've slipped the goblin yoke. And I'll offer much more than gold. Knowledge, my friend, is priceless. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! Ooh, invisibility potion. Nice. Well, this looks important. Poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no. You gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? Please, stop! Here to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. Say we'll take over. His work is sloppy. He'll kill the prisoner too quickly. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. The git snuck in here with his mates, looking for some forgotten thing. Said they ran to some kind of grove. He doesn't want to tell us where it is, but he can't resist forever. Oh, I gotta get a really good die on this one. Fuck! You? I'll believe that when I see it. A human? Torturing a human? <laughs> I'd like to see that. Go on, how about it? No! Please! Face the prisoner. Consider the implements provided. Then... The stench of charred flesh wafts over you. I don't want to torture the fucking guy. Toenail. Uh, uh, please, we... T to the east. Uh, past the ruins and... Uh, the bridge. They covered the gate with ivy. Look at him. You got him good. And we got what we needed. You weren't half bad for a human. Drow will be happy when she hears it. Oh, this is good. Come on, I bet we'll even get some of the spoils. What? The prisoner? Oh, forget about him. Be... The battered man hangs slack from his chains. Barely breathing. 
The battered man hangs slack from his chains, barely breathing. Get away. Please. No more. Help. You, you could have killed me. Nice. Oh, that's overkill. Where was that my last freaking roll? Just get these shackles off. I, I don't know. He, he changed into a bear, but I, I, I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. We... I was with a group of adventurers. We came here for an artifact. It's called the Night Song. We tried to sneak past the goblins, but they, they ambushed us. I didn't think a pack of goblins could be so... <laughs> so efficient. I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Laroacan would reward us if we found it. It should be here somewhere. He said there was a hidden passage underneath the temple. The place was supposed to be abandoned. When we arrived. But Brian had instructions, but... The goblins got him. They... They, they said they'd eat him. Please, please. These shackles. I... I don't want to die. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice. The lock clicks and opens. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. What are you huffing and puffing about? Goblins aren't known for their cleanliness, but by Mistress Mantle, this place is rotten. The fewer breaths we take here, the better. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? What is that? Is that my gloves? I guess. If he's dying that badly. Unless anybody else has something. Nope, he's... Yeah, okay. They're just gloves. Why not? Thank you. It's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. Sincerely, though. I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. I obtained it in Waterdeep. Nothing there comes cheap. Hmm. Well, I'm sure gonna miss those gloves, but it's not like I can't find more. They're gloves. I can't believe I'm only level three and I'm out here. What did this guy want? Bloodied Shrine.
Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the Scourge. This man is a follower of Leviathan, goddess of pain. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? Quite right. I was invited to teach them. I live for pain and its intricacies, you see. But, alas, they insist on being so primitive. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? You know what his voice reminds me of? The, the freaking main bad guy from the Twisted Metal, Calypso, from like the 2012 game. You know the Maiden of Pain. How refreshing. But there is more to us than that. Yes, we worship her through pain, often our own, but it is an intimate and loving thing, one we offer up. If you would permit it, I can show you firsthand. Go ahead. I'm sure you're in need of a little penance. You know what? Why not? Oh, I have something exquisite in mind. Both Loviata and I are interested in how you handle pain, dear one. And should you delight her, you will most assuredly receive her most gracious blessing. Trust me. Simply face the wall, and we can begin. Am I about to get violated in ways? Face the wall and let us begin, dear one. Okay, you say so. I am facing the wall. Which wall? This one? Come now, dear child. It is time to repent. Simply face the wall and stay absolutely still. The pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. I win. Do not keep quiet, dear one. Let me hear you. Don't wear him out entirely, priest. I might have use for him yet. Whoa. <coughs> Do not keep quiet, dear child. Embrace it. Your voice sounds so sweet, dear one. Keep going. How did we go from fighting goblins to this? <laughs> Almost there, dear one. That's it, dear one. Let Loviata hear you. Not the worst technique, priest. Good wrist movement. Lots of enthusiasm. Can I take a heal potion before he hits me again? Sweet child, while I enjoyed that, I'm afraid your reaction was... lacking. To gain Loviatar's favor, every single strike must be met with an honest cry of pain. Or perhaps a touch of begging. Nevertheless, thank you. And I pray you've learned from today's little 
Bless them. Yeah, you know what I learned? That mm, she needs to heal me. Strange customs. Oh. Don't group me with the likes of them. How come? True. How come he you gets to heal, but I don't? Okay, we need to find where this guy is. There's a different entrance. The character's about to get killed. There's gonna be something in here. Something in here that was worth it. That was not worth it. <laughs> I ain't never felt so strong. Hey, what about you? What do you do? Now here's somebody special. The absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Let's the faithful recognize one another quick sharp. That way nobody'll mess with ya. And it's charged with magic. Ordinary slobs can't see it. Only us that follow the absolute. You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. Maybe you don't need it. After all, you're special, ain't ya? Like me. She probes your mind, tangling your thoughts with hers. A familiar sensation. She too carries a parasite. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess, receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. A creature? There's definitely something rotten in there. Let me take a closer look. I ain't seen anything like this before. Hey, Ain't nothing wrong with me. You're the one who's sick in the head. No need to panic, though. With the Absolute's will, I can fix anything. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Don't want this lot interfering with true soul business. Oi! Priestess! Did like us. We want the mark. Why do they think they're yeah. talking to a god? Ain't we good enough for the absolute? Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to follow her. Where's my group? Where are they at? Go. In my mind and well in it that the jingle of coin I hear you've timed it well my friend already turned quite the profit today so I'm feeling generous Hi, 
half right, sharp eyes. As then is a normal trader. Just a matter of what's for sale. Weapons and other exotic goods, true enough. But most of all, we offer discretion. No judgment, no right and wrong, just good deals and bad. That problem for you? You joking? Goblins sell the best prisoners. Cheap, quiet, and eager to be elsewhere. Till this crowd converted and started sending their captives to Moonrise Towers, at least. No complaints, mine. I just sold enough smoke powder to cover the loss ten times over. Ask the drow they're all bowing to. That glint in her eye is bad news for someone. Not my concern, so long as I'm paid. Speaking of, something to trade or what? Oh, okay. Um, camp supplies. I should sell some of this stuff. I don't think I'm gonna get anything super fancy. I don't think I can afford it. Padded armor, ringmail armor. There we go. Pleasure. Why is my group not following me? Bring it okay, I don't know what I did, but I fixed it. There's a cage right there. What's going on with that? No idea. turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue, and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon, and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't another true soul. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. This Mind Flyer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature, even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. 
the weapon the absolute seeks it's the artifact that she carries the same one that protected you as you entered the goblin camp her mind focuses their suspicion cannot be aroused they cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp Your skull sizzles with Raxlin's displeasure. His mouth is still, but you hear his demand. I speak for the Absolute, and I say, you stay. I've got plans for you, boy. And there's no true soul yet who turned their back on the Absolute. Ah, oh, I'm under leveled, so if I stay, I die. But if I, I, might, I have to stay. You choke on black smoke as the hot goblin bellows his incantation. I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth, Lucan Ock, and call deck, Shulko Kanks! The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes, and a questioning the creature might recognize you as its killer. Raxlin's mind reels, then calms. He will speak as you command. With Raxlin's voice, you ask. Who killed you? Raxlin remains composed. If he senses your manipulations, he gives no sign. The creature responds, not in words, but memories. You see a clawed hand open a holding pod, devoid of flesh, only darkness. Damn it! That tells me nothing! Raxlin remains ignorant to your presence in his mind, Merc. You choose your next question. What did the killer want? Raxlin's mind is clouded by doubt, surprised by words he didn't expect. Again, visions flow through you. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high, control panels melting, flesh pods spilled open. Githamans, they know something. Suspicion floods Raxlin's mind. Your brain howls as you force a final query into his throat. Why were the Gith chasing that ship? You see dark tunnels lit by noxious pools of brine. The darkness spreads through the earth. The sky splits open and nautiloids pour out of a void that consumes the stars. What in the... The corpse collapses, silent once more. No, no! I'm not done! Riddles, all of it, and nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat. No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon. <sighs> the damned trow was right. Can't let her get all that glory. Like I said, I got plans for you. Report to the trow. Minsar is the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. Praise the Absolute. No prizes for guessing what this weapon thereafter really is. The artifact. If that's the case, we've got more problems than just the worms in our heads. Yeah, I'm not raiding the Emerald Glo Grove. I'm trying to save it. I gotta go to the east now. I don't think we're going to cover it in this episode, but let me at least get far away enough where I can 
I can't fast travel from here. I gotta get outside, maybe. There we go. Alright. Well, there's that. In the next episode, I think that we should go east or we should go back to Emerald Grove and try to tell them that people are going to be invading. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work, but I guess we'll find out in the next episode. Until then, back it goes.